Hello there and uh, happy October. I'm recording this uh, on October the 2nd and I uh, hope your uh, early fall is going well. You and your families uh, stay happy, healthy, and safe as we uh, head through this fall season and into the holiday season. Uh, as we get started today, I want to acknowledge that uh, we have a lot of new staff uh, starting with us who have either already started or are going to be starting. Uh, let's make sure we make them feel welcome and a part of our family. Uh, we all know when we're in a new environment how important it is uh, to be warmly uh, welcomed as uh, team members and these folks are injecting a lot of new energy into our hospitals and our physician practices and we just want to make sure they feel welcome and a part of our team as we all work together to make our communities healthier. So uh, let's make sure we do that. We want to congratulate uh, Missy Bowman on receiving the DAISY Award. Harris and Swain are DAISY Award hospital partners and this is an award. It's a nationwide recognition program that uh, recognizes the clinical excellence and compassionate care that nurses provide all over the country and we are so thrilled to have several of those nurses who have been recognized uh, here in our midst at Harrison Swain and Missy is the most recent uh, DAISY Award recipient. So let's make sure we congratulate her. Let's celebrate uh, the uh, great accomplishment of becoming a DAISY Award winner and let's celebrate the fact that we have a number of these folks uh, in our facilities uh, taking care of patients every day. So congratulations Missy. Uh, on an outstanding and well-deserved recognition. Janet Millsaps is going to be retiring uh, as of the end of this month after 23 years of service uh, to our organization in a variety of leadership roles. And uh, on October 24th, make sure you join us. There'll be additional information coming out about this, but join us uh, to celebrate uh, Janet's years of service to our hospital, and to our communities. I have to say on a personal note, uh, Janet is a friend of mine. She is someone uh, who I have worked closely with across the years in her various roles, most recently as a patient experience officer. And she just brings to our organization every day uh, compassion, commitment, and an energy around uh, wanting to see us serve patients in the best way possible. So we're going to be excited to uh, celebrate Janet's retirement. We're going to be sad that she's leaving us, but at the same time, she enters a new chapter of her life that is exciting for her, and we want to celebrate uh, that with her on October 24th. So please make sure you join us. October 21st through the 27th is National Hospital and Health System Pharmacy Week, and we want to uh, just take this moment to thank all of our pharmacists and pharmacy technicians uh, who work with us and play such a vital role in us taking care of patients every single day. And we thank them for their dedication and commitment uh, to our organization, to our communities, to the people we serve, and we want to take part in celebrating a special week, October 21st through 27th, with them. On October 11th, we're going to have an open house for our outpatient therapy and sports medicine department located at the West uh, entrance, and that event will be from 4.30 to 6 p.m., and so make sure you join us. We've updated uh, that uh, area uh, recently. We've got a lot of new energy and excitement around outpatient therapy and sports medicine. Uh, Heather Farson and her staff have done a fantastic job uh, in really rethinking the way we deliver uh, some of those services, reimagining our space, uh, making it more efficient. And so we want to show that off uh, to our community and to the rest of the organization on October 11th. We have a breast cancer awareness talk coming up on October the 16th in the first floor uh, boardroom uh, at Harris. Uh, Carol Van Cleve and uh, Dr. Eric Reitz will be giving that talk, uh, so please uh, make sure uh, that you look out for details about uh, when that is and make plans to attend if you can. Uh, you will earn vitality points uh, if you attend that uh, event, so uh, make sure you do so if you can. 
Finally, we've got the Hallapalooza event that will be throughout the month of October. As we're in this fall season, uh, we want to make sure that we take just a few moments just to have some fun with each other. The work we do is very important and often very serious, uh, but we don't want to lose sight of the fact that we've got a lot of great people in our organization. We enjoy working together, we enjoy being together, and we enjoy having fun together. And, uh, we spend a lot of time at work, uh, all of us do, and work should be uh, fun. So we're going to take uh, the month of October heading uh, into uh, the Halloween season uh, to just celebrate that a little bit, celebrate accomplishments, and just have some, some fun together. So visit the internet uh, site uh, for a full list of events and uh, stay updated about that. As we head into flu season, it's time for us to have flu vaccine clinics, and uh, those uh, will be held throughout uh, the next uh, several weeks. So remember, it's our policy that everyone in our organization uh, get a flu vaccination. Uh, there are exceptions to that policy, so uh, to the extent that, that uh, you uh, fall into one of those exceptions, uh, you're not absolutely required, but you are required uh, to wear masks pursuant to the policy if uh, in a patient care area. But uh, the CDC recommends flu vaccinations for healthcare workers in an effort to keep ourselves healthy, our families healthy, and the patients and families we serve healthy. So make sure you get yourself uh, vaccinated. And uh, if you have any questions about the schedule, uh, need to know how to go about that, contact Jennifer Freeman at 586-7670. We've talked about uh, pretty much every month uh, our AIDIT principles, and we, we talk about every month acknowledging and introducing ourselves to patients and their families, and we want to make sure that we continue to focus on it. Uh, it's so important that it just can't be said uh, and emphasized too much. So keep in mind that when patients and their families are coming into our facilities, they're sick, they're scared, they're facing an unknown set of circumstances in many cases, and it goes a long way for them to feel comfortable, welcomed, and that we care about them. So we begin that relationship by acknowledging them and introducing ourselves. Related to that is this concept of a no-pass zone, and a no-pass zone simply means that when we see a patient uh, or a family member who needs something that we as individuals don't pass by without seeing what we can do to help address that. The most obvious way that that happens every single day, we're all on the floors of our hospitals and we may see a call light uh, going off and the nurse uh, who, or the CNA who's responsible for that particular patient room, they may be off doing something else. So our standard is that we all respond to call lights. If we see it, we respond to it. Many of you are non-clinicians like me, uh, and I'm in patient rooms every day, and I have patients say to me or request things of me every day that I can't personally deliver, but what I can do is listen to them and go get the resource they need to solve their particular issue that they're bringing up. So let's be particularly attentive to that. Let's make no pass zones simply be the standard by which we operate in our hospitals. Um, so when you see that call light going off, whether you're directly assigned to that patient or not, uh, respond. See what you can do to help and get the resource they need uh, to address their particular issue. And let's do that throughout our facilities. When we see patients or families who may be nothing more than wandering around, looking like they don't know where they're going, Let's not pass them by. Let's make sure we stop and address uh, their needs and concerns as quickly as we possibly can. So thank you for helping out with that. So make sure you stay connected to us uh, in all of our social media sites, the intranet, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We've got a lot going on in our organization as we have headed into the final quarter of uh, calendar year and fiscal year 2018. A lot of exciting things have happened this year. A lot of exciting things are being worked on um, as we seek to continue uh, our journey for being the hub for healthcare for the western counties of North Carolina. We've achieved that designation, uh, I, I would tell you. We have patients who come from all over western North Carolina, sometimes driving an hour or more to get to us because we're the destination for healthcare 
for the western counties of North Carolina. We want to continue to build on the success we've already had. We want to continue to grow the services uh, that we've got to offer so that we can serve more and more patients closer to home and have them and their families be able to fully participate uh, in their care. So thank you for everything you've done uh, to get us to where we are. Thank you for what you're going to do uh, as we continue uh, to pursue our mission of making communities healthier. Have a great day.